It's a guy named Richard Dawkins, mm-hmm. um, a renowned atheist evangelist is what I call him, um, because it is a religion, and he is one of the number one evangelists of that religion. <laughs> he um, was sitting down on a, a show or podcast or whatever, and he said this. We are culturally a Christian country. I'm, I call myself a cultural Christian. I'm, I'm not a believer but there's a distinction between being a believing Christian and being a cultural Christian. And so, you know, I, I love hymns and Christmas carols and um, I, I sort of feel at home in the Christian ethos. I feel that we are a Christian country in that sense. Uh, it's true that statistically the number of people who actually believe in Christianity is going down. Uh, and I, I'm happy with that. But I would not be happy if... Um, for example, we lost all our cathedrals and our beautiful parish churches. Um, so I, I count myself a cultural Christian. I think it would matter if we, certainly if we substituted any alternative religion, that would be tr- truly dreadful. But it's interesting to me that you see the value and the force for good of well, the United I mean, Kingdom uh, having a Christian foundation. Yes, but I, I must emphasize that, that I think that, that, that the things that Christians believe are, are actually nonsense. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so he, he is, That's crazy. he benefits from Christianity. He mm-hmm. enjoys Christianity. He doesn't believe it. Yeah. What is that? So he calls himself <clears throat> a cultural Christian. And I think a lot more people in the world are cultural Christians than would admit. That they yeah. love church, they love the beauty of you yeah, know cathedrals true. and things like that. They love the the goodness that Christian Christianity creates in the world. It seems to be a lot more peaceful than other options. So they like they they enjoy having it. They want mm-hmm. their kids to learn it. Yeah, but they don't really believe it. Yeah, and he is that was very interesting to hear. The number one atheist yeah. that everybody points to, but Richard Dawkins says Richard. He says that? That's crazy. The the thing that was surprising to me was when he said, um, I would be happy if they stopped believing. Yeah, he still right? doesn't want you to be a Christian. Right? But then he also but he but what he when he started describing the church, it almost sound like one of the eighth wonders of the world, right? Like you're just talking about yeah. the church is a pretty place. Yeah. It's a pretty it's a historical place and it's so many, you know, nice ones when you go to a place like London, you see so many nice churches. Um, and to my mind is like he's saying culture like it's a culture of the world like it's a beautiful thing but not a not a culture Christian itself you know what I mean like not being uh, a Christian or being or even liking Christians in that it's, sense it's the equivalent of like yo I like that refrigerator over there yeah it's got but, a nice screen but, on it but I don't don't turn the power on to it. Right. I just like the refrigerator. Just look at I just it, want to yeah. look at the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh, I like the benefits of how the refrigerator makes this place look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I don't. But the power of the refrigerator to change the temperature of the the right. food or whatever, or keep it cold or whatever. Like, don't give me that. So so in context, I <clears throat> the piece I cut out was she was comparing Christianity to the influx of Islam into the United Kingdom. Yeah. And he was terrified of Islam. He's like, I, I don't want that to take yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer Christianity. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. choose Christianity every time. So it's like he knows there's something to it. It's different. There's yeah. something special about it. Yeah, I just don't believe it. I think I think because he knows it's not forceful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Islam is like they're trying to convert people like you by the sword almost. Not yeah, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm just saying what we're seeing over the different countries is saying like people like. <laughs> persecuting people into Islam or forcing people into killing you like, hey, you either accept this or die. You know what I mean? Whereas us, we coming in and telling you about Jesus. If you accept it or not, we like, we're going to be praying for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to say, his his argument, like, as I listened to him, three things came to mind. One, it was, it was kind of circular. Mm-hmm. Two, it was nonsensical. Yeah. And it's non sequitur. Like, there's no, for example, <laughs> like, I love the lights but I don't believe yeah. in electricity and I don't believe anybody really believes <laughs> yeah, in electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love the lights. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah. I mean, seek ye first the kingdom of God, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what creates the culture. Yeah. And the so there part. is no culture absence. Seeking you first the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. The cold part is he acknowledged Christ. Right. You're going to tell us not to believe, but you you, you said yeah. Christian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did want to hear more about when he says, now what they believe in is nonsense. And then you yeah. cut it. So I was like, I want to well, hear. He went into basically saying, um, do you, because the the lady who was interviewing him basically says you know i'm a little bit more than a cultural christian mm-hmm. and he was trying yeah. to interrogate her and yeah. say like um do you believe that 
Mary was really a virgin when she gave birth to, to yeah. Jesus. Do you really believe that Jesus came back from the dead? And she was kind of waffling on those answers. Mm -hmm. So he's basically saying that I enjoy, I'm glad it exists, but I don't believe it's true is what yeah. he was trying to really harp on. And his whole mission, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I see him as a missionary, his whole mission is to convince you that it's not true. He reminds me of the dude that wrote the book, uh, The Case for Christ. I can't remember yes. his name oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get him that book. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, Lee, I'm sure he. I'm sure he knows who he is. Yeah, yeah. This guy. Yeah. This guy is the guy that everybody debates. Yeah. All the. Yeah. Um. You know. Yeah. But what it made me think of is, you know, when God describes, you know, the rapture and Christians being pulled out of the earth and we're the salt of the earth and how people don't realize us being here preserves. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the goodness of God on yeah. the earth, and yeah. if we were to be removed, and I think he senses that in his heart, if Christianity was really removed. It would be a bad place to be. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, no, no, don't take it away. I just don't want you to believe it. But I just don't, want don't you get rid it. of it. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, get rid yeah. of it. It's like that's nice. Yeah. But then, then that scripture talks about like um, the power, um, not using the power like to make you godly, not go godliness power. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm I'm very paraphrasing. But it's just talking about like you um, God, I, I just slip my mind. But it's basically talking about how like you want to be a Christian but you're not using the power of God to get you through anything. Mm -hmm. So it's like mm -hmm. that's that's what I see about this whole situation that it's mostly about somebody that's saying I want the the traditionals, I want the like the Christmas carols, I want all the things that the emphasize Chris, Christian that's in the culture that makes our culture look good right. yeah. versus the power of God right. that can change our culture to his glory. Right. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Last night I was watching a documentary mm -hmm. called um, Proving the Exodus, mm -hmm. uh, Moses Parting the Red Sea. And I got halfway through it. And the very beginning is that we are going to dispel or approve the um, story of the Exodus, right? From the archaeological standpoint, from a biblical standpoint, mm -hmm. and from a skeptic standpoint. And I love the way they laid out the facts for the archaeological um, proof and facts, yeah, right? Yeah. We found walls that were that are a brick that are a modern uh, that of uh, ancient you know israel um platforms and then they talked about you know the red sea and the evidence of the red sea and mm -hmm. the sand melting and how a ball of fire is the only thing that mm -hmm. can melt right, sand right, that right. deep mm -hmm. and so when i see things like that and i hear people like richard dawkins talk it makes me wonder like how much education are you not looking for mm. when it comes to proving yeah. that it exists versus not proving that it doesn't exist. Yeah. I mean, the, the one thing I would say about him and people who listen to him it, to be skeptical of and look out for is anyone who says, I want the party elements, but I don't want the work before the party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to be on the football team. I want the uniform. I want to come play in the game. I don't want to go to practice. But I don't want to practice. <laughs> I don't want to run around the track. No I don't want to lift the new weights. Yeah. I don't want to do any drills. I want to be on the basketball team. I want the jersey. I want to be able to shoot. I want a mm. shot clock, but I do not want to work out yeah. and do the sweat. We should always be skeptical of anyone like that in any right. sphere that yeah. is backing up from all of it. Yeah. And I just want the celebratory parts that feel good. Basically, yeah. he's a non-believer believer. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> and what's, what's interesting, I don't, know, I don't know if you guys understand how atheist this dude is. Like, he doesn't yeah. believe at all. Mm. Yeah. So calling himself a cultural Christian, to me, is more of a warning to people out there who go about their daily lives, who call themselves Christians. Are you really a Christian? Do you mm. really believe or are mm. you really this in disguise? Mm. Is that be, is that being used to do a heart check though? Yeah. Because if I'm sitting yeah. there and you and I hear the number one atheist say, I'm a cultural Christian mm. and I know what the origins of the word Christian comes from, does that make me stop and say, oh, you know what? Am I a believer or am I just doing? Well, right? I mean, I think I think for people saying like, Cultural Christians could be people who, like you said, like I, I think I saw, I think Tim Ross was on the Breakfast Club and he was saying like sometimes people were like he was like um, like religion just yeah. don't work. He's yeah, like yeah, you yeah. just if you going going to your house, right. I mean if you want to church on Sunday and live in any other way Monday through Saturday, then stop doing it. Mm, yeah. Stop coming mm. to church because it's 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 counterproductive. And I disagree with that because I feel like if you continue to go to church, God will continue to press on your heart like you tell somebody hey you're just living crazy just stop coming no this right. is where you need to be because this is where the holy spirit can actually reach well, you I, well i think the thing was he was saying that you're tricking yourself if you're not trying to change if you're if, if the holy spirit is saying you, don't do feel it, like don't you're do okay it, when you're but not. you're like yeah. i can I go still, to church i still feel like that's okay I, I think i have friends that do that got you i think i have friends that do that and i would prefer to see them in church on sunday than not you know what i'm mm. saying so let me so, ask you a question mm. is it church or is it worship 
because according to the word, we're having church now. Right, yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. at the end of the yeah. day, it's a matter of do you want to see your friends at worship, you know, versus the church? Because I think yeah, even my man, my man is, is misconstruing church. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The mm-hmm. mere fact that he's talking about Christ now is having church. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. he don't understand that, <laughs> yeah. you know, from and, that and perspective. Yeah. I, I agree. And that, and that point of uh, the cultural Christian, every time we have a new term like that develop, particularly with somebody who's a non-believer, what it has the potential to do is further fragment us. Yeah. And create distractions, yeah. right? Yep. Crazy yep. distractions. It's like pulling at the thread of a sweater. So now all of a sudden, you create another section or segment of people who now have to go through another deconstruction yeah. because mm. of this, yeah. right? Mm. And so, again, I just want to double down on what I said earlier. The skepticism, excuse me, the skepticism we should have mm-hmm. in his entire argument, right? Should should be there in full force of yeah. yo, bro. You you don't get the party <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> without without playing a right. part of preparing the party. But right. you so, see it though. Yeah. You see it in our country. You yeah. see it with political parties. You see it with mama and them went to church, so I went to. Ch- you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. It, it's here. 